Hi everyone, my name is Ujwal Gandhi from spatialthoughts.com. Uh, welcome to this guided project on land cover analysis. This is a very common type of analysis that needs to be done by many analysts and planners. In this project, we're going to learn how to work with existing land cover data sets, how to load them, view them, extract specific classes from them, and compute statistics in a given region of interest. This type of analysis is required in many situations. Say you want to understand the impact of a project on the surrounding environment, and you want to understand the existing land cover in a buffer zone around a site. You'll also learn how to extract a specific class and convert that to a vector layer so that can be used in a GIS. We'll also learn how to compute the area of all the classes in a given region. This is also very helpful where you are trying to do some modeling and you want to know the area covered by each class in the given region. Uh, at the end, we'll also learn how to scale this analysis to a large region. Let's say you want to compute the area of land cover in not just one region, but multiple regions across large geometries. We'll see how Earth Engine can help you extract and export this data as a CSV file. So let's get started. This is a guided project. That means I'm going to be with you at every step. We're going to start with the blank code editor and build the script step by step. Uh, first, let's understand the data set that we're using and the method that we'll be following. So our goal for the project is to work with the existing land cover data and do some analysis on top of that. Uh, the data set that we'll be working with is called ESA World Cover. Uh, this is a global land cover data set uh, at 10 meter resolution uh, created by the European Space Agency based on the Sentinel-1 and Sentinel-2 data sets. Uh, this is one of its kind. It's one of the, uh, the first global data sets at this resolution. So uh, regardless of where you are in the world, you'll be able to uh, access this data and get a land cover classification that you can readily use in your project. Uh, it offers a resolution of 10 meter per pixel, which is uh, uh, great, so you can get a lot of details. And uh, currently it's available for year 2020, but it's gonna be a time series. So every year uh, they're gonna release a new version of this data set. So uh, 2021 should be coming soon. Uh, it's not out yet at the time of this recording, but uh, in the future, it may be available in the same collection. Each pixel in this data set is classified into one of these 11 classes. Uh, each pixel value uh, is, uh, denotes a, sp a specific land cover class. So for example, if we inspected a pixel value and the value of the pixel was 40, that means that particular pixel was a crop line. Similarly, if we inspected a pixel and the value was 90, that means it's a wetland. Uh, so uh, each pixel is one of these 11 classes uh, that is available globally. So in the part one of the project, we will first uh, learn how to load this data into Google Earth Engine. Uh, we'll load some admin boundaries uh, and we'll select a region of your choice. We'll be working with admin two data, but if you want to use your own regions, you can upload a shape file and select a region from that as well. Uh, we'll then clip the data to your region. And once we have the land cover map, we'll then go ahead and export this so that you can download this to your computer as a GeoTIFF file. In the part two, we will say we want to extract a specific class value. So here we'll say we want to extract all water bodies and create a map of water bodies in the given region. So we'll select all the pixels that have a particular value. Then we'll take this and convert it to uh, vector data. So we have a raster layer, we'll convert it to vector and we'll export this as a shape file. So you'll end up with a vector layer that you can use, uh, which will show all the water bodies in a given region. In the part three, we'll compute some statistics. We will uh, take uh, the region that you selected and we'll compute what is the area covered by each of those 11 classes. And we'll uh, get a, uh, a list of different classes and the respective areas. Uh, we'll also learn how to scale this across different regions. So we'll go ahead and say, we'll select all the admin two regions in a particular state or province, and we want to do the same analysis for each of them without having to manually repeat all of that. So we'll learn some techniques of uh, advanced coding using MapReduce to see how we can apply this computation across these different regions, and then we'll export this as a CSV file, which you can download to your computer. 
I have linked to some resources which you can explore, uh, specifically the second one, which uh, covers a lot of the uh, area computation uh, techniques in Earth Engine. If you're interested in learning more about that, do check out that link. The link to the presentation is available in the video description. So now let's dive into the code and we'll start building script one step at a time. See you in the next video.